Greetings all, Frog here. Let's play some Europa Universalis 4 All Belongs to Mother Russia. It's been a couple of days, but I did load it up, take a look around, see what we're doing. Um, we are still fighting the Swedish Independence War and winning. They've made it on a Sjeland, and they're taking down Norway as we speak. The strength of the alliance cannot be that high. Oh, I don't. I didn't really mean the peace screen. Oh, good, it didn't load anyway. Uh, so, uh, yeah, they've got... Mm, 8,500 troops total. We have 50,000. So, you know, uh, they're a little weaker. Uh, they already have low enthusiasm. Uh, this should be pretty good. They, they've, they're they being blockaded. Um, we're being blockaded, apparently. Well, that's okay. It's not going to last forever. Uh, I have no diplomats to send. That's why, of course, it didn't load. Perfect. So the other things that I've looked around and noticed is that Austria kind of likes us. Not great, but they're, they're getting there. So we should be able to get them soon, hopefully. Uzbek is ready right now. And they're not at war. So this won't bring us back into the war that I was worried about. They're fighting with rebels, apparently. Kazakh patriots. That could be bad. So Uzbek might be smaller um, because Kazakh might break free. There may be no Kazakh right now. I don't honestly know. Uh, Kazakhstan, Kazakh, whichever one it is. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to bring back my diplomat in Tiver because we're maxed out. So, when we need to get more, we'll get more. So, right now, bring him home. And once he's home, we will get the alliance with Uzbek. Uh, I'm not going to call him into the war, though. There's no reason to do that. Let's just get the alliance going now. And should be good. Yes. Like, the alliance shouldn't crash the game. And, hey, that was rival of our rival. Perfect. I knew that would happen. I completely did not forget that that was what I was supposed to do. Achieve religious unity. That's not going to happen. I mean, I'm sure we still can't. Oops, sorry. Religion is 9. Nah. No way. Negative 2.5. Total of plus 2. We're at plus 0.4. So we get 1.6. We're still 0.9 in the hole, even if we had 100% authority, which we don't. All right, so that's not going to work out for us. What else we got? Claim the steps. Oh, that's right. I don't understand that one. Any own province have a core in any all. Any all. Any steps we must... We must plant the boilers. Well, I mean, that's what I'm going to try and do. Or Kazan. Oh, we have to completely get rid of Kazan. Oh, but it's a subjugate mission. Yeah, that's, see, that's sort of tempting. Because that's the same thing we have with Novgorod, right? So we could just, you know, try and crush him. Let's, let's let this war go in the background, because I really don't have to pay attention to that. Your alliance is with the Timurids and Yarkan. Yar Timurids are kind of scary. Yarkan, I don't care about. But the Timurids are huge. You know, I don't know about them yet, but look, look, this is them. They're at least here. So, you know, I don't know if I really want to deal with that right now. How are we doing, Sweden? Probably pretty good. I feel like I should bring this guy in for support, just in case. So we'll do that. Zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. Okay, what are you warning me about? Are you blockades? Okay, yeah, thanks, I know that. Yes, I know, unrest is bad. We'll get to that. I have no mission, because I'm torn. Because I was thinking, you know, let's go to war with the Golden Horde. They'll be weaker. They probably will be weaker than Kazan. Um... You know, let's see, Golden Horde, that's up to the G's. Golden Horde, they have a force limit of 18, but they only have 3,000 men right now because they're fighting no guy, I think. So it'd be nice to sweep in and get rid of them. At the same time, Kazan, their force limit's only 16. We could probably take them too if it weren't for the Timurids. Who's the alliance of the Golden Horde? Golden Horde is allied with... Mm, they're leading no guy. Oh, so they're obviously not at war with no guy. They must be at war with Crimea. Yeah, Crimea. Who's on Crimea's side? Crimea has the Ottomans. All right, well, that's why the Golden Horde's losing that. That's sort of the tempting one because, you know, it's a Golden Horde, and it's pretty a low-hanging fruit. Plus, Subjugate Kazan will probably stick around, and I can try and do that when I'm a little stronger. Uh, that That's actually kind of good. Golden Horde's they're the next one. Are we, are we close? Are we close? No. We're going to claim the steps. This will be my mission. 50 admin power. Yeah, that's, that's nothing to sneeze at. All right, so we're going for that. I could have a free leader. I don't care. Uh, yes, claims. Which ones are they? You don't drop down and tell me. Or because of the autosave. There we go. Tab off. What is it? Oh, that's to get me at war with the Golden Horde. Right. Yes, I'm okay with that. Disputed succession I don't really care about. And free advisor. I'm at war. Yes, I know I'm at war. Thank you. All right, we are at speed four, so this is pretty good. If I go up to speed five, 
It's the same. Oh, it's a little bit faster. Okay, so we'll stay up to speed five, because I'm not really doing anything in this war. I'm just here for support. Yeah, I'm doing the siege, but that doesn't really count. We're just trying to help Sweden break free so they can be my bestest, bestest Western buddy and give me all the juicy, juicy tech. Sweden, you going to be okay over here? Is this going to be all right? Uh, no leader. Attacking into the mountains, that's not great. Sweden's rolling pretty well. Denmark does have a morale advantage and a tech advantage. Or a tactics advantage. Why did they get a tactics advantage? They were behind us at one point. They must have upgraded. Well, it's too late for me to go up there and reinforce. Oh, they're landing people. Mmm, you silly transports. Well, we won. Yeah, but they're going to lose that one. Do we go up and help in Norway? Um, well, they just took Shellen. They might be stuck there because of the blockades. Uh, I won't be able to reinforce if the blockades are still in place. So, okay. We'll go fight your war in Norway. We'll go take care of them. That's okay. We'll go crush the armies that are hiding up there. And then we'll take it from there. Zoom in, zoom out. Meanwhile, what are my diplomats doing? I have two free diplomats. That won't do. So let's continue to... Well, Austria is good. Tiver, all right. Pavel, what were you doing that you're free now? Oh, Uzbek. Right, you're improving with Uzbek. Why can't I do that now? Does Uzbek not exist for me anymore? Wouldn't that be awkward? Because that's Crimea. How did that happen? Oh, the Peasants' War. Sorry to hear about that, Hungary. I still have an alliance with Uzbek. Where are they? Don't know. We're their only ally. They have truces with all of these people. And a tribal feud, of course. And I don't know about the Timurids. What are they doing with the Timurids? Military access, I think? Yeah. Well... Interesting. Interesting. That, that was what... That province... Oh, which is now gone. There was a battle, and I didn't even pay attention. Well, that's not good. Hold on for a second. Did I win? I did. We lost... 4,000 men. We lost more than they did. That's not good. Oh, that's okay. I mean, it's not great. We're going to shift consolidate here. Um, leaves me with 7,000, about 8,000 men. 8 to 3 attacking into the mountains, crossing a river. That doesn't seem good. Although my leader my leader could finally die and I could you know, get the better one. That'd be kind of nice. How high do you have to get for an independence war? I honestly don't know. We're still going to keep the ticking war goal. We can still get, what, another 8, almost? So that takes up, up to 75. I'm certainly not going to separate piece. That just seems disingenuous. I mean, it doesn't suit my purposes, so why bother? Um... I mean, they're not going anywhere. They're not trying to win anything back. Let's just siege. We're going to go siege. Let our troops build a little bit. My poor fleet. I could build more boats, but we're working at a deficit right now, so... Gotta be careful. I'm not going to spend at the moment. Come on, me boyos. 35%. Make it happen. Cha cha. Kind of want to chase him down to actor. Okay. We're going to take a morale. But so will we. We'll get some reinforcement. They'll get better reinforcement. I still think it's a good fight. Norway is not the principal target, but every fight we win does give us some war score. Uh, hey, all right. All right, I don't need you, so... Let's transfer that to Sweden. 
because I really don't want them giving me land over there anyway. That would be way too awkward. And we'll come reinforce this battle. Occupied by Oldenburg. Oh, right, because Oldenburg declared war on Denmark as well. That's why Denmark is so busy. Got it. You decided not to reinforce because you saw my guys coming. Don't blame you. Let's just park right here in Ockershoes. Come on, Sweden. We're at 73%, man. Just end this thing. I've got a date with the Golden Horde. When does my claim end, out of curiosity? Will it tell me? Um, no, I need to be on my screen. Conquest against Golden Horde. Until when? It doesn't tell me. Strangely, I don't remember how to look that up. It's in the province, I think. Tambov. Let me, let me see the province. Oh, right, right, right. Go away. Let me see the province. Um, truce, who cares? Vassals, I don't care. I thought I could see the... Oh, yeah, yeah, duh. I have a claim on this province until 1495. Oh, shoot. Yeah. 25 years, I forgot. I thought it was like only 10 years, maybe. Yeah, 25 years is no worries. Okay, so... Could they land someone there and come after me from behind? Yes, but I can reinforce. So let's detach this siege. My leader doesn't have any siege value anyway. And we'll go cross 11 on 4 into a mountain. They do have a leader. He is better than mine. I'm going to have a negative 3 penalty. That does not seem like a great idea. But I am 2 to 1. We're going to outflank him. We're going to try just to weaken Denmark even a little bit more. Because anything we could do... Plus, if it goes south, I can bring these guys in. Oh, this is actually, this is my better leader. 1-3. I've got better shock value on this guy. Yeah, this is this is tempting. Let's get in there and see what we do. Alright, yeah, we do have that nugget of 3 penalty, unfortunately, because his maneuver is better than mine. Um, but I do get that extra shock value. That'll help some. Oh, he rolled real well there. Got better morale. They have better discipline, so somewhere along the way, Denmark did tech up. Uh, I'm fighting a battle right now. I have no time to deal with improvements in government tech. Uh, a few local workers in the administration have discovered what they claim is a more efficient way to handle documents. Obviously, they do not know what to blah, blah, blah. Spare no expenses to gain some inflation and, ooh, admin power. So I can gain 10 admin power or 50 admin power. Uh, let's see here. 10 admin power or 50 admin power, but inflation. 0.5% inflation. Does that affect morale? No, it does help affect my... Yeah, I don't know how to do it. I can always buy it down later if I really care. It's not that big a deal. Alright, back to the battle. Oh, yeah. This is over before it began. Yep. We're in the auto save. They'll be crushed after that. Are you coming? It's not a good idea, my friend. You don't want to go that way, because I don't care about this siege at all. Give me this army. We're going to reinforce. We'll be there on the 29th. We'll be there on the 16th. Are you still going to come? Even knowing I'm going to go and crush you? Like a little bug? Because trust me, 13 days is not enough for you to kill that army. Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright, how are these guys doing? Not recovering nearly fast enough, but, you know, we're in a hostile siege, so that's not that surprising. Come on, Sweden, we're at 77%. Let's get it done. Don't you dare give me call for peace. I don't know what flag is coming down, but if it's call for peace... Oh, no, it's ideas. It's fun. Do I want this idea? Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. That's a guarantee. Gives me core creation costs. It gives it, yes, I, I clicked that. I don't, I don't need to see that. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's great. War, exha war exhaustion reduction, core creation cost exhaustion. That's exactly what I need. Um, we're going to maintain with Austria for now. I don't think that's enough to make them actually want to be in an alliance with us, but, you know. No, sadly it doesn't. 49 reasons, neutral attitude, my army strength, the religion trust, all that business. Yeah, all my naval strength. Well, pfft. still a neutral attitude. I mean, we improved relations quite a bit, but... 
still neutral. Yeah, I mean, I understand that. But hey, they're the Emperor. We'll try it out. Meanwhile, let's check out Tiber. See if we can improve the with them a little bit. Get them into the fold. They want to be a vassal. There's, there's no doubt about that. We just got to get them up to 190. So we need another 31 opinion. I can get three more from improved relations. Um, I'm still gaining, let's see, 3.4, 2.4. So I'm gaining 2.4 a year just because. As the AE and the Broken Alliance, whoops, ticked down. So that helps some. A gift will get me 25. So I just need six more opinions. So it's possible. It's possible. It's just going to take some time. I'm not that worried about it, to be honest with you. But we'll get there. Come on, Sweden. This is getting ridiculous. I mean, they're stuck on this, on Shailen now. You. What? Why am I out of position for a war with Kazan? Sweden ignored a defensive call. Uzbek dishonored their call for a defensive war. Why would you do this? I mean, come on, Sweden. We're, we're in a war together, man. This is not funny. Now they won't accept. Brother, I mean, we're meant to be together. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Oh, man. I don't really care about Uzbek. That was just a whatever. I mean, that's a throw. Oh, because Kazakh. Look at Kazakh. Tell me that Kazan is not allied with Kazakh. No, the Timurids. This is not good. All right, so what's the relative strength of this alliance? Oh, yeah, brutal. Because I need Sweden. Kazakh is involved. Why are you involved? Oh, my God. Why are you involved? Because you're a vassal under Kazan. For the last 20 years. Well, that's not good. Um. Wow. What do they want? Tribal conquest. Show superiority, huh? So it's battles. Well, I can't lose any battles when I don't have an army. Oh, Tyver answered the call. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, buddy. Um, let's set you guys to be, let's set you guys to be supportive because, oh yeah, you're not considered that because, right, you're just an ally. Well, come on, buddy. Come attach to me way over here. We don't need you to get involved in a battle with Kazan. Let them sit in Muscovy and just rack up the attrition with the sieges. I mean, who declares war on Russia in, on the 21st December? That seems a bad idea. But this is not going to be easy for us right now unless we can get Sweden back. That's really frustrating. I don't understand why... Oh, no, 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 you stay there. Why... Oh, they're down to 168. Well, we got to improve relations with Sweden now, that's for sure. Because they need they need to be on our side. Why will you not do the alliance, man? We need a royal marriage. That's that's obviously what's going to happen here. We we got to get in bed with Sweden. I mean, we have worked so hard on this relationship. Oh God! And there goes my tech cost modifier. That's really frustrating. Maybe this royal marriage will be enough. I mean, they love the idea of that. How did this? It's mostly the war right now. Obviously, if we weren't at war, they'd come back in immediately. I don't understand why it would do that, knowing they wouldn't go for it. Yeah, see, now they want the alliance. Of course they do, because there's no reason not to have the alliance. Because we're fighting in the same war. That is stupid. I, if that's intentional, that seems like a bad design on my instance. We're fighting in the same war. 
I don't need to call him into that war right away. We, we can we can get there in a moment. So when when can I send you? 25th February. All right, we're definitely going to do that because we need this alliance. If nothing else, because of the relative strength. Oh, the autosave. You scared the hell out of me, man. Perfect. I, but I'm not going to call them to arms. They're not going to accept anyway, but that's fine. I don't want them to accept. I just need the numbers. The numbers need to tell. Oh, Scotland's in this war now too, huh? Probably because you are part of the the second war that Denmark's in. Den oh, nope. That's just another opportunist. Denmark, man, you're done. Can you just admit that? Let Sweden go, man. Let us out. All right, well, we're going to have to stop there. Uh, here, they, here they come, right? This is Kazan. i got a little bit of Kazaki army. I'm not too worried about that. I think the Timurids are giving them the most numbers. What do we got here? Yeah, the Timurids, you've got 29,000 infantry and 14,000 cavalry. They uh, Can they get here? Probably. I mean, if they border Kazakh, then obviously they'll just go straight through Kazakh. Do you like the Timurids? Um, no. We have a truce with the Timurids. So it's just a matter of who do they border. And I don't, I don't know. Oh, that kind of looks like Kazakh. Doesn't it? Kind of looks like the same blue. If it's the same blue, we're toast because the Timurids can get through. I mean, let them suffer attrition. Shoot, I don't even care. I'll give up some of my provinces for this. That's not a big deal at this moment because we can always come back and crush them later. But for now, we're just going to have to put the cut here and uh, just see what we can do. So I hope you liked the episode. If you did, click the like button. It really does help out. Consider subscribing to stay updated to all the information on the channel. And until next time, cheers.